Hello and welcome to another video here on Try Hack Me. We're gonna tackle the room called Atlassian. It's a CVE 2022-26134. Now I already did this room because I had the time yesterday, but I didn't have the time to record it. So I'm just gonna go over the room today. I it's it, it, it's rather new. It's five days old, so I tackled it quite easy. Now, most of this is something you need to read, and then there is a machine here on deploy, and I think it's on the, let me just see, one of these tabs here, I think this one here, that is an actual exploit you can use a walkthrough, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna take this walkthrough to you and talk about what's the problem with this kind of thing, this CVE. Now let's first of all just take it, and I think there's a link, let's just take the link instead of me finding it. It's a national vulnerability database, we're using the NIST one, and it talks about this particular exploit here that I copy pasted, and I then highlight the exploit name, so it is the right one. It says, in affected versions of Confluence server and data centers of OGNL injection vulnerability. So this isn't some sort of injection, right? Uh, exists that uh, would allow an unauthorized attacker, unauthorized and injection, already really bad, uh, to execute arbitrary code. Okay, so we, we kind of talk remote code execution, right? So it's an RCE thing. On Confluence server or data center inference. The affected versions is, and then there are some versions, right? What we kind of need to do here is basically, I don't have to read all this, this is just me proving that it's just there. And they kind of say the same thing here and we read the texts and you answer the questions and, and copy paste the exact same text here that is there and you know it's wonderful. The thing is, you go ahead and start the machine, I'm gonna do that. So it, in order to practice this, um, you need to deploy the machine and craft difficult, pay, difficult, <laughs> different payload to answer the questions below. Please wait for minimum of seven minutes. Wow, that is a long time. You can verify the machine is ready to attack once you page uh, the following URL loads. Meanwhile, proceed. So there is some sort of URL we can access. It's a confluence login. You know, I'm really, really sure. If this is just a name, I would say in when I saw this, I would just say Atlassian Confluence version seven three five, which is also the question here is seven three five. Let me see. The following version becomes a vulnerable of CVE, and they do mention different kind of versions here, but not the one that we started up. Fine. Anyways, I th this room is vulnerable, so I'm pretty sure we cannot access this at the moment. We can just try. It's at seven minutes. That's a long time. So let's just keep it there. Explaining the vulnerability is like the CV uses the vulnerability within the object graph navigation language. Now we don't really know what that is. I have no idea what OGNL. What is that? So let's just. Object, Notion, let's just do Wikipedia for now. It's an open source expression language in for Java, which while using simpler expression than the full range of those supported by Java language, allows getting a setting property through defined set property, get property method, found in Java Bean, so it's a get a set of thing. And execution of methods on Java class, it also allows for simpler array manipulation. So there's some things it can do, we can read all of this and yada yada, but the thing is, we can exploit it and we will exploit it. So, and basically this is still not upright because seven minutes is not passing that fast. All right, so we just basically have to answer the question. It's quite easy, so let's do that. Exploit detection and patching. Now they do talk about the suggested list of time of publications are, and then we do this, 74177 seven, seven something, you know. So, so, there are different ways for us to detect. Um, so it talks about, let me just see here. Confluence is, 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 is a Apache Tomcat server which is locking, which has locking located in this 
Ah, there you can see the command, like grab to search for HTTP GET request, payload. Yeah. So we could do something like this using the grab command, and then uh, it should give you some sort of output that should detect uh, things here. Right? Um, if you Jira install, I have not really Jira install. Now, if you wish to do this, exploit detection and patching. Um, I suggest you you read the text here first of all. This is still just thinking, <laughs> and uh, it 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 probably gonna give you some idea. I don't know if it will. Whoa. Um, the expectation itself is probably where you're gonna where you're gonna find stuff. So if we didn't have this, you know, tutorial here, whatever, then. I, Pretty sure that we could do something like. Let me just see if we can find something interesting. So that would be when I get the web page up. It's probably easier to to see what we're gonna search for. But if I went to take this word Atlassian and some like explore, you know, or would go the way on Google, we could probably find you know some things. This is a pretty new one. It's a, the fifth of June, twenty twenty two. And just typing that, you know, we get some results. And they talk about this particular CV right here. And when I see that, I would just think, is this the same mentioned right there? And you see, it is exactly the same. So I would definitely think that this is a thing. And I would probably research this a bit more. So now we already have it. And I could probably just go copy paste this and go Google and do the actual CV. And we have it right here. The last vulnerability, or we have it in the the Mitra. We can just basically take, I think, uh, twenty six. Maybe this one would hold an actual. Yeah, so we kind of get we we, we kind of get code here, and and and. It looks like OGNL expression. So we have everything right here. It is probably not the same as you get the Python code. Um, it is something with, yeah, 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 here we have it. Like the Java Lang runtime, blah, blah, blah. And you go back to try hack me and go up to the, whoops, there we go. Java Lang runtime, whatever. So we have the same thing going on there. And, 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 and really, it is the URL here. And in this particular example, it's something localhost. So I guess creating a temporary file in the server to prove vulnerability localhost is, I don't know if they're testing it local here, but it seems like. Let's see if we can access the web page now. There we have it. So this is another thing, you know, you could probably just take the version and again, just copy paste and go ahead and search. But what I'm really gonna do now is, is exploit this. So the way we can exploit it is um, by, there's some answers we need to, to, to give here. It's quite easy to answer. So we need to, to clone this uh, GitHub repository. We can just take a look at it. Is this the same one I just visited? Nkurguda, whatever. No, it's not exactly the same. But it looks like that it's probably the same vulnerability. So yeah, there is a uh, Python file here and it Kind of looks exactly like in the same area. A bit longer, not the same, but it's the same exploit. We already found it. But so we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna clone this uh, GitHub repo here, and basically they tell us to, to do that by you know go ahead and run this command. Let me just clear the screen and go out and let me say make the and we're gonna do at Atlas. And go into Atlas and then basically run the command. They, they tell us to go inside this library folder here. And then basically they tell us to, to run you know this command. And and the command would be ls for example and, and you just type go and you get a lot of files here. Um, basically 
You can probably go ahead and, 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 and pop a shell for some reason and upload a file, whatever you do, but you can see there's a flag right there, so you, you just, oops, <laughs> you just you, you do like cat flag.txt like this, and then you get the, the first answer for the, um, the question. You only need to answer the question who's running the server and it's quite easy one more time. You could probably just write ID and you get the, the, the confluence or you can do go, go ahead like who am I, which is a bit, uh, a bit more. So you get the confluence as a user and this is going to be your exact answers. That's really just this room here, right? And there are some additional reading materials for you if you wish to read this. But what I want to say is that, you know, this is just another, you know, uh, let me just see the E here. Fine, fine. It's just another, you know, um, exploit written in, in Python. And, you know, you get the actual payload right here where you can see this is, this is what you're going to write. And the payload itself will then be appended uh, with a command that is formatted. So you can do direct. Uh, remote code execution on the server. Now, this is just an actual, you know, the actual payload we found, and we we know this is pretty new, and, and, and there's probably a lot of servers that are vulnerable right now, which is also why this is extremely important that if you, if you have this sort of software running on your company, just make sure that you patch it, and and, um, and, 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 and if it's not patched yet, you probably need to take it offline until it's patched because it was a serial day exploit for like like a month ago or something it was a serial day I think I think it was so um, that's just for this room we solved it it's uh, without doing much of, uh, of understanding we can just execute some code you know but the thing is you really need to understand what is the actual issue here is it, it is, it's some software that can take some arbitrary command and it's been executed the the actual why it works question that would require you to go into the software and dissect it and look at the actual source code and that is not what we do as, as hackers or pen testers we just verify that there is a security hole and if you're a pen tester you don't have time to sit and find these different vulnerabilities you just execute stuff you find some stuff, you try this uh, particular payload, you hope it works. That is really what you most do. But you need to do some research and you can do some footwork before you do it. So that's just really my, my goal, my, my advice to you. Do your research, it will give you the benefit uh, for the exploit. All right, so if you liked the video, please consider subscribing to my channel. Click the bell, get some notifications when I upload a video, if you like it of course. Leave a comment below, say anything you want to say, like hello, it will be fine, I'm gonna answer anything. And uh, until next time, I'm gonna see you again, bye!